think high definition will open the door for a lot of applications that heretofore have been gridlocked because they didn't have a medium for the transmission and storages of the images they generate. For example, mapping, uh, flybys, mission planning, failure analysis, uh, CAD visualization, various sorts of scientific visualization. All of those applications are non-entertainment and they all require manipulation, storage, and transmission of high-resolution electronic images. It couldn't do that up until high def. In one sense, HDTV is not important. Computers have been making thousand-line video pictures for many years now. that all of the respective hardware and software vendors can design to. That means we have now have a common interchange high def brings to us. I believe that a lot of new markets will be opened up by high def and I believe existing markets will be destabilized and changed. It will change the market dynamics of a lot of what people are doing today. Um, it's interesting to observe that although high def the usage of high def is growing slowly in the entertainment industry. We're already seeing parts of the commercial and industrial sectors use high def simply because it's the only name and it's the only thing available to them. For example, approximately a year, year and a half ago, we did a test with Belcor, Bell South, NASA, where the shuttle liftoff was uh, taped in high def. This gives them the ability, in a matter of minutes or seconds, to rewind the tape and play it back and really take a look at high resolution, once again in an electronic format or medium, if anything went wrong. Film doesn't offer that. You've got to send the film to the lab. It may take 24 hours to get it back. I believe 1125 will become, if not one of the production standards, the production standard. The best thing about 1125 is that there's a lot of equipment available today for it. It's easily interchangeable or convertible to and from film. It's easily down convertible to NTSC, down convertible to um, PAL. Uh, it, it, it's a very nice compromise. One of the things that we're thinking carefully about is uh, designing into these standards upgradability paths, open uh, doors and hooks if you will, so that they can in fact be superseded by uh, future versions of these standards to accommodate the needs 20 or 30 years from now that we, won't, we can't foresee today. Also, because it's quite obvious that 1125 is a standard, there are tape machines, there are monitors, there are distribution channels like fiber optics and so forth that are available today. You can buy them off the shelf. These aren't experimental. These aren't in the lab. Uh, I think it's real. We have customers today that are signed up to buy this machine simply because of the fact that it supports uh, a, a formal uh, common interchange format for electronic images. High definition is a small but rapidly growing market. There are uh, applications for computer graphics technology in the entertainment end of the business, but more importantly, more important for Symbolics today, there are definite applications for computer graphics outputting high definition images in the industrial, commercial, and military DOD sectors. Customers who are buying high definition today are doing so because it solves their problem. It's the only medium that provides them real-time storage and transmission of high-resolution electronic pictures. I believe HDTV will go entirely digital during the course of the next decade. Today you see analog tape machines, analog fiber optic transmission uh, media. Um, these will be replaced. One of the reasons these will be replaced is there's a concerted effort by all the telecommunication companies around the world to advance the state of the art in fiber optic technology uh, and by the computer companies, the supercomputer companies, to increase uh, data transmission rates, bandwidth, if you will, uh, the transmission, sto the storage density for digital information. We've got a long way to go before uh, we'll reach saturation in terms of uh, what our society needs for digital information storage and transmission. If you look at the evolution of HDTV technology, and in, per in particular, a digital standard for 240M, if you look at a, t a 240M frame of information, it's 1920 or 1035 by some number of bits deep. Us computer guys like 24, sometimes 32 bits, but whatever, it's on the order of 4 to 8 megabytes in a frame. We like to think of that as a packet. Telecommunication technology has been using packetized data transmission uh, technology for quite some time now. The Ethernet is a great example. If you look at a video frame as a packet and look at the vert vertical blanking time as a packet header, with a very small modification of the standard to insert some number of bytes of information in the header, you have now a recordable packet of information. Don't think of it as a video frame. It's really a frame of information that could be stored on videotape machines at the tremendous densities and bandwidths we st saw earlier. And you could now store in that packet almost any type of information. Data, uh, of course pictures, and, it, and the important thing to realize is that single packet could be a frame 
or a tile of a larger image. You can imagine taking a print image, slicing it up into some number of digital 240M packets. Sure, those packets would be put on the tape and sent off again in non-real time, but the tape machine itself offers you a transmission medium that is so dense and in fact close to real time. If you could get, say, a 4K by 4K frame of information in half a second, that's far beyond what, what the print guys can even dream of today. People will begin to dabble. Most of the business today is NTSC. That, we call that money-making resolution. Uh, some people have called high def, at least today, money-losing resolution. But part of our philosophy of format independence and a very flexible, programmable system, both hardware and software-wise, that lets you, our user, uh, get your feet wet is you can grow. And you can, you can do it as your business grows and you can afford to take the chance and take the risk. What we do is we try to lower the risk for you. The bottom line is that one of our customers can buy this workstation today, make money doing NTSC production, post-production, simulation, visualization, whatever the market, and as the standards evolve, as his work portfolio grows, as his business needs change, he can evolve to uh, output images at a variety of resolutions and format, all the way up to HDTV and in fact beyond, including print.